Hello everyone, this is Louise Isabella Pelon and in line with our subject, Great Books, this is our video presentation for preliminary requirements about how a beauty trap ended a brutal dictatorship. So this is the story. Nearly 2,000 years ago, toward the end of the once glorious Han Dynasty, a warlord named Dong Zhu seized control of the capital. He pushed the young emperor out of power, wrongfully accused or accused officials, and brutally executed them left and right. He even routinely killed people for entertainment during the large banquets, severing their limbs one by one while they were still alive, then dumping their remains in boiling oil before disturbed dinner guests, who were sometimes forced to drink soup boiled in their college's blood. And so, with the kingdom teetering on the verge of collapse, the dynasty's trusted servants were at a total loss. The only hope for ousting the tyrant in turn out rested with one of the most beautiful women in China's history, Lady Diao Chan. Diao Chan was not only beautiful but also an excellent singer dancer she had been orphaned at a young age and emperor's loyal minister wang yun took her in in and raised her as his own having blossomed into a young lady she was eager to repay her father for all the kindness he had shown to her Dong Zhu was not only powerful, but he was also protected by his adopted son, who is known to be brave, mighty, and a heartless warrior named Lu Bu. Lu Bu was handsome, but with a little integrity type of man. He already betrayed and killed his previous patron just to protect Dong Zhu's reign of terror. So, with Lu Bu by his side, who would dare to challenge Dong Zhu? One evening, Minister Wang Yun, the father of Dao Chan, was in deep trouble. He was out for a stroll trying to think of a way to get rid of the rain. He noticed Dao Chan in the courtyard absorbing the moon. Being away by his daughter's beauty, he suddenly thought about the 36th stratagem, or known as the beauty trap. With tears in his eyes, he knelt down in front of his 16-year-old daughter and asked her, Will you do something to help our God? Tao Shan wanted to repay for all of his father's kindness, so she replied, If the country needs me, I will give my life to save it. And that's where the beauty trap was planned. Step 1. The next day, the minister threw a lavish banquet for Lubu with delicious food and fine wine. Pretending he didn't have enough servants, he called upon his daughter to serve the general. Gosh, how could there such a beauty on earth? exclaimed Lubu. She's an angel. Lubu was shocked the moment he laid eyes on Dao Chan's pretty face. He hoped she would sit by his side as he ate, but she coldly withdrew, opting to sit by her father's side. Noticing how Lubu kept glancing over Dao Chan, the minister decided to make his move. The general is a hero on the battlefield. Minister told Dao Chan, with Dubu within earshot, it's an honor to be admired by him. If, he continued, now turning to the warrior, General Lu would condescend to accept my humble daughter, I could arrange for your wedding. When the minister offered to wed Dao Chan to Lu Bu, the later was overcome with joy. He accepted the proposal at once. Step 2. Dong Zhu was next. The minister arranged another grand banquet, this time for the warlord, offering him lots of fine wine and letting him get very drunk. That's when Dao Chan emerged, 
dance and awaken the tyrant's licentiousness at once. It didn't take much convincing on the minister's part. If Master Dong is interested, he said, I'd be only honored to have my daughter to serve you. Upon hearing this, Dong Zhu grabbed Dao Chan and took her back to his residence. Lovesick, Lu Bu. Lu Bu couldn't help but notice that Diao Chan was no longer at the minister's mansion and inquired with the minister of his daughter's whereabouts. I invited his excellency over for dinner a few nights ago, explained the minister, but he spotted my daughter and insisted on taking her home with him. Lu Bu was shocked and enraged. Diao Chan was promised to me. The lovesick warrior couldn't stop thinking about her and felt as if his life had fallen apart. One day, he tried a sneaking into Dong Zhuo's chamber to see her, but Dong Zhuo, who was inside sleeping, awoke and discovered him. Have you been flirting with my favorite concubine? He shouted. Never enter here again. Thinking on his feet, Lubo pretended to have heard an assassin, explained himself, and quickly left. Despite his incredible bravery on the battlefield, he felt utterly helpless. He resolved to sneak back into the chambers when Dong Zhuo. Zhu, despite his, in, <laughs> despite his incredible bravery on the battlefield, he felt utterly helpless. He resolved to sneak back into the chambers when Dong Zhuo was away. Despite his incredible bravery on the battlefield, he felt utterly helpless. He resolved to sneak back into the chambers when Dong Zhuo was away and embrace his love, hear her voice, and look into her beautiful eyes again. At great risk, Lu Bu crept back into Dong Zhuo's room. Yao Chen was inside alone. When Yao Chen saw him approach, she turned away, saying she was too ashamed to face him. Dong Zhuo has violated me, she said. And you have no idea how miserable my life is, living with someone I so despise. Pained to hear of her torment, Lubu embraced her. As much as he longed to be reunited with Del Chan, he knew he could no longer be with her, and the feeling of hopelessness grew only more overwhelming. His emotions were tearing him up inside him. When Del Chan tearfully whispered into his ear, telling him how much she misses him, his heart could barely take it. Lu Bu was so lost in the moment that when he heard Dong Zhu storming back to his room, he fled in great haste, forgetting to grab his weapon. When an alarm Dong Zhu was inside, he spotted Lu Bu making a getaway through the rear exit. What's going on? Are you having an affair with Lu Bu? My lord, cried Dao Chan. He just barged in and started saying inappropriate things to me. Thank goodness you came. That beast, yelled Dong Zhu, with murder in his eyes. With all familiar relations, out the window, he picked up the general's abandoned halberd and chased after his adopted son. Lu Bu was actually still hiding nearby to make sure Dong Zhu didn't hurt Dao Chan. Seeing Dong Zhu in hot pursuit, Lu Bu took off. There was no way the overweight Dong Zhou could catch up with the athletic Lu Bu, so he furiously chopped the halberd at Lu Bu, narrowly missing him. But Dong Zhou picked up the wrong warrior to go head to head with. Lu Bu reclaimed his weapon and with one stab slayed Dong Zhou. The young general had no idea he was playing right into the final stage of the minister's trap. Yao Chan screamed bloody murder. The emperor's guards stormed in to find Dong Zhou lying dead on the ground, Lu Bu standing over him. Lu Bu ran out and bolted away to his horse, only to later be caught and executed by Cao Cao, but that's another story. The minister approached his daughter and bowed low in front of her. Yao Chan had saved the emperor. Again, in line with our subject, Great Books, this is our preliminary presentation of a video story from Asian history. I am Luigi Zabala Pilon, and thank you so much for watching.